A shocking turn in the case of accused serial killer Billy Shamir Mir. A lot of families wondering what now after the judge declared a mistrial. Rebecca Lopez has been reporting on this case from the start. A lot of folks thought this would end fairly quickly with a guilty verdict. Why couldn't the jury reach a decision? One juror hung this jury and the foreman early on this morning started sending out notes to the judge. They sent out four notes saying that this one particular juror would not deliberate any further, that they were stuck and that they were uh, deadlocked. So Judge Rocky Raquel Jones brought the jury back into her courtroom at one point reading them what's called an Allen charge, telling them that the state spent a lot of time getting the evidence and presenting this case and they needed to keep deliberating. But after the jury sent out that fourth note saying they were hopelessly deadlocked, she declared a mistrial. Now, Shamir Mir is accused in the murders of 18 elderly women. The families say that they were disappointed and disgusted by what happened today. Defense attorneys say this one juror did her job. They didn't even go back and look at it, had any questions, didn't have anything to go back and ha anything to ask about the trial, just stayed at no. How do you do that? I mean, you must have some reason for not, you know, for having voting the way that you did. I definitely wouldn't call him a rogue juror. I mean, if, if you guys listen to my closing argument, each and every jury has a right to their own belief. Look, prosecutors left without saying anything. We also tried to talk to the jury foreman or tried to talk to someone on that jury to tell us what happened in that jury room because they did not ask for any of the evidence again. They didn't ask any questions. The notes that came out were simply that this juror made up her mind as soon as she walked into the jury room and never deliberated with the other jurors. Chris. Yeah, Rebecca, maybe we'll get some more details in the days to come. Uh, but what happens now to Billy Shamir Mir? Well, he stays in jail. He still has an $18 million bond. There are 17 other victims, but I spoke uh, late in the day with the district attorney, John Cruzeau. He says he is going to retry this case of Lou Harris immediately, probably within months.